Today is Thursday, September 15th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 64 degrees and sunny here in Syracuse. I'm Alex Melanowski. Here's what you need to know. A broad week is continuing on campus. The university held the General and Central Europe Information Sessions earlier today. If you missed these, you can still check out the Internship Abroad panel tomorrow at noon to learn more about it. And Syracuse University is expanding existing home ownership and education incentives to local healthcare workers. This latest expansion aims to strengthen economic inclusion and development throughout CNY. The program commits to broaden participation from local residents, communities, women, and veterans. And next Wednesday at 12.40 p.m., the Department of Public Safety will conduct a test on the Orange Alert notification system. In addition to email, text, and voice message, the Orange Alert notice will be delivered through the newly launched Orange Safe app. All SU and ESF students and faculty will receive the notice. And a Syracuse postal worker is sentenced to six months probation after storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. Surveillance footage shows Frank Bratjan Jr. approaching the Capitol building, and Bratjan also faces a $1,500 fine for parading and picketing in the Capitol. He moved to Minnesota once the investigation began. And a high-profile labor organizer, Jazz Brizzak, has resigned from Starbucks and will end her union leadership starting next week. Brizzak says she's leaving because Starbucks failed to accommodate her availability. Brizak will remain on the bargaining committee for her store and will also continue to work with the Workers United Union. The National Labor Relations Board has also charged Starbucks for interfering with workers' rights in other states. And after the break, the Biden administration has reached a new deal with the Railroad Labor Union. And more on the local weather. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry. For bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Welcome back to Citrus TV Now. President Biden has announced an agreement between rail carriers and union leaders, likely averting a national strike. Yesterday, Amtrak canceled all long-distance trains ahead of the potential strike. Biden says the situation is improving and negotiations are taking place. You reached an agreement that will keep our critical rail system working and avoid disruptions of our economy. U.S. intelligence officials have predicted a potential ISIS group threat in a newly declassified report. The Islamic State group is slowly rebuilding some core capabilities in Iraq and Syria. The group is also increasingly fighting local governments like the Afghan government. And now today is feeling like fall. I was walking around campus in my favorite hoodie and jeans. This is my type of weather. But here to tell us more about it is our weather anchor, Alana Epstein. Alana? Thanks, Alex. Now let's take a look at our temperatures right now. It's about 64 degrees and we do have that sun, which I'm so happy about because this morning, as you said, we were getting those cold fall temperatures. Now it's only going to get colder tonight. It's going to go down to 52 degrees. But my professor today told me that when it's the winter and it's negative two degrees, we're going to be missing this weather. So I'm going to enjoy it and have a happy and positive mindset. And I'm so happy and positive because look at the temperatures that we're going to have this weekend on Friday, tomorrow, it's going to go up to 71 and on Saturday game day it's going to go even higher to 83 and Sunday it's also going to stay at 83. So I am very excited for these nice summer temperatures that we have coming this weekend but we also have those fall temperatures this week and this is probably the last weekend with those colder temperatures. So that's all I got right now. Alex I'm going to send it back over to you. Thank you so much, Alana. That is just looking like beautiful weather for Juice Jam. I am so excited for that. Young gravy is coming to Syracuse. I cannot wait. But coming up on Citrus TV News Live at 6, SU is launching Food Insecurity Awareness Week, partnering with the Salvation Army of Syracuse. And Citrus TV reporter Louise Rath will be in studio to break down everything that you need to know about the event. But that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at citrustv.com. I'm Alex Malinowski. Have a great evening, Syracuse.